Hi, everybody. Uh, I know you all have listened right from morning till evening. I don't know if I can make you laugh, but I can put a little bit of thought in your head, in your thought, and maybe I'll just take five or ten minutes. And begin to begin with an icebreaker, my name is Gold Praveen, okay? Anybody who can guess my sister's name? Anybody? No. My okay, I'll give you the clue. My name is in her name. Yeah, Praveena is the second name. What is the first name? Come on, think, think. You all have learned. Let's unlearn. Okay, anybody? Okay, I'm going to tell the answer. It is Golden Praveena. Okay? So, what I'm going to share with you is something very unique about the youth, okay? I just, I have just begun working since one, one year and four months. I finished my college in Madras Christian College. I did my MA public administration. Now I work in the development industry, okay? Okay. Y'all can see what is this? Yeah? It's a one dollar bill. Okay. Okay. Anybody wants this? Cool. Got your, got your attention. Now, compare all our lives, okay? I want to talk about a particular very important thing about our lives. If a one dollar bill does not lose its value, do you think you have value? Think about it. Hey, listen, listen. When people, when people right from our childhood run over you, tease you, you think I'm not valued at all. But if a one dollar bill I crush it, I use it to wipe my sweat, it still can buy something. Aren't we much more than that? I would like to share a small story from my life. As doctor was sharing, when I was in my ninth standard, I was really fat. Guys, especially, we have a talent of ripping people by teasing, right? Do we? Girls, they are, but guys generally among us, we rip them apart so that they feel, why did I ever, why was I ever born? I was teased to such a level, I really lost my self-esteem. But then, somewhere down the line, I got introduced to my God, who tells, I have drawn you in the palm of my hand. I want to tell you one thing clearly, that you are unique, okay? Nobody can change that. And I, and I used to think, God, why did you give me a name called Gold? Everybody calls me Goldsmith. Everybody uh, calls uh, whatever, 65, 70 kg of gold. They keep calling all that. But I realized that is the uniqueness. Remember one thing that nobody has the same fingerprint as you. All I want to tell is that you are unique. And as I, as I grew up and I went to college, I saw many people, even I, wanting to be somebody else. It constantly put the thought in me that, you know, I have to be like somebody to not be myself. If I be myself, I would be a better person. I would achieve much better things. But that is not the truth. We are, we are living in a world where we want to be like somebody. If Tiger Woods is famous, we are looking at Tiger Woods. But when he falls, but when he fell down, Im immediately we forgot. That is the real reality of our lives. What I want to tell is that, you know, no matter what happens around you, what people tell, let, let not the things that people tell you define you. You define who you are. And you should not be telling, I want to be the next Sachin Tendulkar. You tell, I want to be the next me. That would redefine things. Why I say this is, it is all coming to a point where what can youth do to change things around you? I want to tell another simple thing, another thought of mine and finish. All of us are sitting here, all of us are privileged here, okay? After I joined my new job, where I work right now in World Vision as a youth engagement specialist, I visited some of the places in our country in Rajasthan where there is no roads, there is no electricity, and they don't have proper medical access, medicine, access to medicine. All of us are sitting here comfortable. You know, you would have come across many people who tell about the poverty in our country and the, uh, the situation where children are not privileged for anything. This is not, my, my idea is this is not to put any thought into you telling guilt consciousness. It is not to bring you that guilty, oh my God, it is so sad, they are, they are, all, they are all so poor. No. 
all of us are blessed with this facility, this privilege of studying all what we have for a purpose, to bring that change. Okay? So there's no point telling, okay, let me give money, but be the change. We are, we are in a place where we are like a bridge. We can, we can utilize our resources, our education to, for the betterment of the other, other side who do not have the facility. I just want to conclude by one last thought telling. We all ask the situations in college. Before we go to college, we think, oh, this is the best college. But after you go inside, you're like, ah, this is nothing. People, when I went to Loyola College, I told, Loyola College is the best when I went to do my UG. But after going inside, I felt, man, this is all lies. People just tell you that outside is, anywhere you go, it is like that. So before you can ask a question, why? You think and you ask, why not? Why do you think a country does not have much of young people in the policy making level, that is in the ministers? All of them are above 50. Why is that? Because you and me are comfortable sitting where we are. Is that what is the need of the hour? No. Rise up, speak up for yourselves, and that is how you set in utopia. So think about it. I thank you for the opportunity and God bless.